You got this. Guys, I did a conversion on the deadbolt to this little bouncer right here by Mofo RC. So that's motor forward RC. So um, one thing I haven't done with it yet is added any brass or anything on it. I've got some ordered, including an overdrive gear. So I don't know if I can even work on this thing. I might I'm, need glasses or a microscope. But regardless, what I haven't done with it yet is take it out back and see if it can actually crawl some of the real stuff I've got back there. This is going to be interesting. Guys, I'll show this to you real quick on the table, and then we're going to get it right outside. Take a look. This is going to be interesting, let me tell you. I mean, this is all stock. It does have the extended uh, drive shaft and extended wheelbase, so it is kind of stretched out a little bit. But, yeah, it's all stock. No brass or anything. The stock deadbolt tires, all that stuff. So, yeah, let's go see if this thing can actually crawl at the Exoplex, the normal stuff. So to record this, I've got to be really close to this little guy. Now in the back, you can see that little green Helios. This is the 600 milliamp Helios battery. Now I can tell you right now, it would have flipped over. If it was still the deadbolt, it would have already just went over. <laughs> Come on, little guy. Gotcha. I can already tell you it is way better than what, oh. Well, all right. Still better than the deadbolt. And it has magically flipped over, like the correct way. <laughs> so I've got the uh, widener setup coming. So it should be a little bit wider. I think four millimeters on each side is what it is. So I've got that on the way. The overdrive gears for the front end just showed up today, actually. That's gonna be interesting trying to work on that. Now, huh, this is gonna be a leany situation right here. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. Um, that wasn't slow motion. That was just me grunting because this thing is so heavy. <laughs> well, I do got to say, it's doing really good right now. Now that I've got this, I really, I really think it's just so much better. And until this chassis came along and found it, got it here, and I just really had no use for it. But it's awesome. We got oil filled shocks for this thing and all kinds of stuff that I'm finding out. So as you can tell, I have not really done a lot of research on this stuff. You know, everybody's mentioned Furtech. Furtech, you know? So, that's probably going to happen. I think they got some brushless setups and stuff like that. Which I think is pretty interesting. And with it being bouncer themed you know i think a little brushless a little more rpm whoa <laughs> not driving out of that we're gonna take on ridge line this should be way out of it this little guy's league this is definitely for the larger trucks Oh, I think the line I'm going to have to try to take though is all the way to the right. Try to skirt around the uh, hard stuff. I say get right up into here and make a hard left. If, oh, if I could, oh, if this thing had a dig, 
I could probably get that. Can they make a dig for these? All right, got that better. <laughs> oh, it almost got it. Did you see that? Okay, let's just say I got up right here. Let's just say I got some kind of crazy lucky bounce. Let's see what we can get here. I think maybe with the overdrive gears, it may actually turn a little tighter maybe. Wow. Nope. One last run just to see how far it can get. I would take it to the dirt, but it just doesn't have any wheel speed. Not enough to do anything important, you know, not enough to actually bounce up anything. So, and the other times I've had it on the dirt, it just did really bad. Now we're coming into some really big rocks here. Wow. All right. Oh, oh, really? Come on. One thing about this, it does not self-right very well at all. When it's over, it is over. But I really want to try this. Yeah, this thing, when it goes over, it's over. I mean, like, over, 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 over. Wow. I'm going to burn it up doing that. All right, that's it. Well guys, the little guy did really good. I mean, now that I have a baseline of what it can do out there, when I get the mods and the brass and the overdrive gears and all that stuff put on it, we'll have to see. So this little guy right here, actually pretty darn impressive. Um, this mofo conversion made a world of difference to it. It really did. Yep, I like that little guy now. That was actually fun. So guys, in that description, I'm gonna put links to Mofo RC, Motor Forward RC, um, and the actual truck itself, which was a deadbolt. Uh, you may be disappointed unless you brass it up. But anyway, <laughs> you convert it to this, you're gonna have something phenomenal. So guys, check that description, AMA, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. They are affiliate links. They help out the channel every time you guys use them. And for everybody that's using them, thank you so much. So guys, check that description, make sure you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So guys... Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.